It was in 2001 that a humble but significant step heralded a revolution of sorts that forever changed the face of media in the coastal region of Karnataka. It was the year Daiju World was born. Over the next 15 years, Daiju World metamorphosed into a media conglomerate, a pioneer with a formidable presence in web, print and television. Today, as we achieve yet another milestone in our eventful journey, we are proud to say that the spring which emerged 15 years ago has grown into an ocean connecting distant lands and bringing people closer. What started as an April Fool's prank by founder Walter Nandalike quickly took shape as daiji.bigstep.com inaugurated in Dubai on January 14, 2001 by NRI entrepreneur and philanthropist Ronald Colasso. Subsequently, the web portal was rechristened as daijidubai.com. Initially, it catered only to Konkani people scattered in various Gulf countries by covering news and views pertaining to the community. Daiji, which in Konkani means blood relative, proved to be the right platform that quenched the thirst of Konkanis in Gulf countries yearning for news from their motherland. In 2003, the portal was renamed daijiworld.com. The popularity of the site grew and in 2004, daijiworld.com opened its office at Divya Deepa Arcade, Bendorwell, Mangalore. During this period, the website gained a strong foothold with a substantial increase in readership. With internet gaining popularity, Daiji World took another giant step forward by introducing the novel concept of internet TV to Mangaloreans for the first time. Within the next 3 years, the web portal witnessed an exponential growth and along with that, the strength of the staff also rose. March 2007 was another turning point for Daiju World when it became Daiju World Media Private Limited and established itself as a media company with Rohan Montero, Lawrence De Souza and Victor De Souza as its directors. In October the same year, Melvin Rodriguez joined the company as director of operations. In the same year, Daiju World began to operate from its new office at Kankanadi, Mangalore. Expanding its wings further, Daiju World opened its Udupi franchise office in 2008, headed by Kishore Gonzalez. Since then, news and exclusive features from different pockets of Udupi district have become a part and parcel of Daiju World. The collective efforts of its dedicated staff and correspondents have played a pivotal role in Daiju World's emergence as a major player in the field of web journalism. And today, its average daily viewership has touched an astounding 4 lakh 50 thousand. Today, Daiju World has nearly 200 staff, correspondents, and freelancers spread across the length and breadth of coastal Karnataka, Kasaragod, Mumbai, Goa, Bengaluru, and across the Gulf and other countries, led by resident editor Anisa Fatima. Riding high on the wave of success. Daiju World Media Private Limited launched its sister concern Daiju World Publications and made a successful entry into print journalism with its magazine Daiju World Weekly in February 2009. The only English weekly published in Karnataka, Daiju World Weekly, led by its editor in chief Hema Charya, has in the last 6 years been able to establish a strong foothold and earn popularity among readers. In 2011, as part of its expansion plan, the company opened its Dubai franchise office, headed by Stan Agera Pulki, who has been associated with Daiju World since its inception. The company reached another milestone when it moved to its new premises at Daiju World Residency in Bondale in May 2014, and all the sister concerns of the company were brought under one roof. This swanky office has been the crowning glory of all that Daiju World has achieved in this 15 years. The same year, Daiju World Media had a new director, Alexis Castellino, joining the board. Having made its presence felt both in web and print media, the time was ripe to make a grand entry into the visual media 
and tapped the vast potential it offered for growth. The idea fructified and Daiju World Television began broadcasting from June 2014 with O'Neill D'Souza as its head. Within no time, Daiju World 24-7 channel with its wide variety of informative and entertainment programs in all the local languages has succeeded in garnering a sizable market share. Started in 2015, Daiju World Audio Visual Studio is one of its kind in the coastal region. Equipped with high-end technology, the studio is designed to meet the demands and expectations of clients looking to produce music albums, short films, telefilms, movie dubbing, advertisements and a whole lot of other creative works. Social responsibility is a cause dear to Daijual Media and we are happy to say that we have been in the forefront in discharging our responsibilities towards the society. Through our sustained charitable campaigns for needy causes, we have been able to generate approximately rupees 10 crore over the years with the wholehearted support of our generous readers. The charity work undertaken by us has helped hundreds of poor, sick and needy families to rebuild their shattered lives. While our explosive stories have created lasting impact, our in-depth coverage of important events, be it social, political or religious, has remained unparalleled and as a result, many of our reports and photographs have been shared by national and international media. Recognition, accolades and awards have come Daiju World's way from all directions, be it Sandesha Media Education Award, Rachana Award, Star of the Year Award by International Institute for Public Policy, to name just a few. This recognition and acceptance reaffirms Daiju World's commitment to provide news and views without bias, fear or favour and in conformity with journalistic ethics and standards. Daiju World is committed to responsible journalism and will carry on the good work it started 15 years ago with the same enthusiasm, energy and dedication. We hope and trust we will continue to have the same support and love our readers have showered upon us all these years.